Even more eager to rein in the military are lawmakers. Both ruling and opposition parties have proposed a series of amendments that would switch most criminal investigations and trials involving active service personnel to the civilian courts. But even if these laws pass, they are unlikely to be applied retroactively to the case of Corporal Hong Zhongqiu. Public fury over the death of Hong Zhongqiu has stirred up lawmakers as well. The DPP wants to wrest the right of the military to prosecute all members of the armed forces suspected of crimes. It would hand over investigation and prosecution of all crimes involving military personnel to civilian judicial authorities. An exception would be during times of war. Even then, though, military law would only apply to violations of the criminal code of the armed forces. The Constitution is very clear. Service people not on active duty are not to be prosecuted by the military. And it does not say that all active service people can only be prosecuted by the military. It also does not say that military prosecution can be carried out independently of regular legal procedures. The KMT has its own proposals. Whether in times of peace or war, the military handles cases involving classified information. Other crimes, such as abuse or drunk driving, are handled by civilian courts. Cases similar to the Hong Zhongqiu case should be handled over to the civilian courts. This is what we requested. It is my understanding that committee member Ding Shouzhong is undertaking this proposal with great vigor. During an extra legislative session next week, ruling and opposition lawmakers will also request the Defense Minister Gao Huaju report on the Hong Zhongqiu case.